room and Zoom. Go ahead with questions. Coach, can you say what happened uh, there towards the end when you had six players on the court? Yeah, just made a mistake. Uh, apologize to our players. Uh, but they decided to put in Chase Hunter. And, uh, you know, somebody forgot to tell PJ, hey, you're out. And obviously, PJ was in the back. And uh, you know, nobody saw him. And I guess Chase didn't tell him that he was out. And that happened. Just to our players. Certainly, it was a bad mistake at the end of the time. Is that what you said in the huddle out to the technical? I saw you, you had your arms around the guys. Were you just apologizing? Yeah, apologizing to my team. The last thing you want to do as a head coach is let the guys down. Uh, you know, our team didn't feel very well today. We're, we're battling a lot. We've been battling a lot ever since we got here physically. Uh, take nothing away from West Virginia. We, we played, you know, just poor enough to lose the game. Uh, I thought my kids fought. Hunter doesn't feel well. PJ doesn't feel well. Alex Hemingway's not here. Chase Hunter doesn't feel well. We've got a bunch of guys on our team that are not in good spirits and, and are fighting their tails off. And, you know, as a coach, you let them down in, the, in a time of need. And, uh, you know, I, I feel awful for them. And uh, so I apologize to them. How much do you attribute the, the last couple of days to, to them not feeling well? And, and does anything need to change? No, or is it no, no, no. We didn't lose because we weren't feeling well. We lost because we didn't play good enough basketball. Um, you know, we had leads in both games. And I, I just told our team, you know, guys, we, we played some really good basketball this weekend. Uh, you know, it's disappointing we lost two games. Uh, but when you play good teams, competitive teams, you know, you got to play the full 40 minutes, you got to finish. We got exposed for some weaknesses. And, uh, you know, it's not, we have enough guys healthy and, ready to go that we, we need to figure out ways to win. And, uh, you know, we didn't get it done, coaches and players. So, you know, this was a good learning experience for us. You know, challenging environment, to be honest with you, for two days we played as a, as a road team. And so it's been good to be exposed to that. And, uh, you know, we got a little bit rattled tonight. I didn't think we got as rattled against Bonnie's. I just thought Bonnie's made some incredible shots and made some great plays. Tonight we got rattled and uh, we turned the ball over. And, uh, you know, we gave the game away from that because of our, our lack of execution on offense. Any questions on Zoom? Brad, you, go ahead, Trevor. Oh, thanks, Matt. Um, Coach, I was just going to ask, uh, 20 turnovers tonight. Uh, West, West Virginia likes to, to pride themselves on their press. Just how, how does their full court press compare to some other teams? I mean, it's really good. Obviously, they're big, long, athletic at every position, and they have – you know, he plays nine or 10 guys. He's playing 10 guys. So there's usually fresh people out there. Um, they mix it up. They run and jump you on the dribble. They, you know, zone your full court. They main your full court. They trap some ball screens. They rotate to different guys. And when we executed, we got the ball out and got some open shots. Um, when we didn't, you know, it was a turnover. A few of them were for points. Uh, you know, we got a couple of players got exposed. You know, we, we talked all the time about you got to be able to play quickly uh, and play at a stop. When you come to a stop, when you need to make a play, they're going to make you play fast. You're going to have to drive the ball. You're going to have to be aggressive at certain times. Uh, and when you do, they're going to come running. And so now you've got to make a, the right decision. And, you know, we didn't have some guys make very good decisions tonight. And uh, certainly that was attributed to, to their pressure, uh, their athleticism, their toughness. Uh, it was that was a big factor. Brad, you mentioned a couple of times getting exposed. Just what did you see that you liked from your guys that allowed you to build double digit leads the last two games and, and in this tournament, the way you guys played that you can kind of build off of? And then what do you feel like you need to clean up? I've had some really good things. I mean, I thought defensively for a lot of the tournament, we were we were good. We were pretty good today defensively against a, a, a pretty good team. Uh, we were good for the you know part of the or for the first half of the Bonnie's game defensively. Uh, we had some we had some breakdowns in both games in the second half when the, the bench isn't there helping our guys. Our guys got to do a better job of communicating defensively and uh, and figuring some things out on their own. Um, offensively, I think we you know we're moving the ball pretty well. Uh, I think we're trying to share it. There are times we take a few wild shots, um, but I'm trying to give this group some freedom. Uh, I think we shoot the ball well. We shot over 50 percent again tonight. 
Uh, we just got to make sure we're getting good attempts. And, uh, you know, we didn't make as many free throws again. Uh, those are some things we got to clean up. Obviously, the turnovers is the big thing. But uh, there's a lot of good things. Uh, we have a lot of guys that can score. Uh, we have multiple guys in double figures most nights. So hopefully that's something to build on. Hunter, obviously um, two really tough losses back to back. Um, you've got a, you got a lot of new faces, uh, some freshmen and transfers. As one of the veteran leaders on this team, what can you do to, to just try to get everybody back on track? Just make sure all the guys stay together. Um, like you said, it's two uh, tough losses that we really wanted to win, but just making sure everybody realizes that uh, everything we still want with this season we can have as long as we just stay together and uh, keep working hard. So just keeping everybody together and keeping some perspective to the guys. Ray, can you elaborate? I don't know if you're allowed to or not, but can you elaborate at all on the illness and, and kind of what's going on with the team? Yeah, just upper respiratory stuff that's, you know, been through our team, um, you know, really started when we got here. It started with one player, and then it's every day after, it's, there's just been more guys. Uh, not worried about me and some of the staff now. So, uh, you know, but we just, it's just something you got to deal with. We'll, we'll be fine. Any more questions for Coach or Hunter? Right. Yeah, I was just going to ask with, with their physicality, Defensively, just how, how do you try to adjust to that? And particularly when I guess they went a long stretch with it seemed like they were being pretty physical and, and no foul calls or anything. Yeah, they, they play a very aggressive style. There's a lot of contact. Um, you know, your guys got to play through it. Uh, you know, the games of this stature with, you know, high level officials, they're not going to, it's not going to be a ticky tack game. They're going to let the guys, you know, dictate the game. And so you got to step through, you got to be strong. You got, you, you can't play for a foul. You got to play to make a play. And when you start doing those kinds of things, your mind is getting into a bad place. Uh, and, and, you know, West Virginia makes you do that because they're, it's, it's 40 minutes. It's almost all the time they're after you. And uh, so, you know, you, you really got to be a disciplined team and a disciplined player to play well in a game like this. Any more questions? Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks, everybody. Thanks, coach. Yeah, thank you.